Chrome OS 90 is in the process of rolling out. It's been rolling out for about two weeks at this point. So we thought we would stop and take a look at some of the awesome feature flags that are still here. There are features that may not be part of the update. A couple of them actually are supposed to eventually be part of the update, but there are features that are not necessarily there until you flip a flag on. And so we're gonna show you where to go find those and how to enable five features that are right there in Chrome OS 90 that we think are useful and that you'd enjoy using right now. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of users because frankly, they're awesome at what they do. And that is keeping your browsing safe and secure, whether you're at home or out and about. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN where you can learn more and get started today. Okay, to get started, you're gonna to need to navigate to chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. In there, you can turn on all sorts of flags, but the five that we're gonna talk about today are the uh, redesign management flow for accounts, the stylus battery, uh, live captions, copy link to text, and enable showing the date in the tray. We will link the actual URLs because you can put the URL and get right to these flags uh, down in the description for you, and it'll be available over on uh, chromeunbox.com as well, so you can actually see those and copy paste them if you need help finding them. Okay, so let's look at the first one that I'd like to highlight, and mainly because uh, it seems like my stylus battery is a little bit low, but it's a really cool thing that works with USI pens. This isn't an Asus pen. Uh, I want to say this is a pre- uh, production pen oval pen. Uh, it doesn't even have any markings on it, but it's just a USI pen. And because of that, it can pass certain information to your Chromebook. And part of that now is in your stylus tray here, you actually have uh, an indicator showing what your battery looks like. And this is a pretty generic battery. We've had this uh, particular stylus in the office for a little bit. Does not surprise me at all that it is showing low. But other than this, I have no idea when this battery is gonna run out. So it's really nice to see this indication here. Uh, this can be helpful for a lot of you that are buying USI pens uh, because so far we haven't had a way to check that battery level. Now you do. Uh, if you enable this flag, hopefully this shows up in a future version of Chrome OS. All right, so for the next feature, this is one that a lot of people were anticipating uh, with Chrome OS 90 because Google actually announced it as part of this update, and that is uh, live captioning. And we've had it on Android for a little bit. It's really cool to see it coming to uh, Chrome OS. And though it's not technically here with that flag turned on, you can actually see it in action. So I'm gonna click into a video. I've got our, our video muted here, but you can see it populating right down here. Um, and there's some cool features uh, that uh, come along with this. If I go into my settings, for instance, and I go, it's easier just to type live caption here. And I can go to my feature settings here and you can actually change the way this box looks. So I can, I can go large here. I can change the text to something different. I can change the text opacity. I can change the background color, um, all these different things, whatever works best for your eyes and what's going to make it easier for you to see uh, what's on screen. It's really cool to be able to change all of those things and see them immediately. It doesn't matter what it is. I even had an advertisement pop up and uh, it was reading the advertisement to me. And as soon as you dismiss it, if you don't want to see it anymore, it's fine right there. But the minute you refresh the screen, it's going to pop right back up until you go and turn this feature off. Right now, there are no quick settings or shortcuts to get to it. It is down in your settings tray. Hopefully, eventually, uh, maybe they'll give us a toggle over here to be able to turn that on or off or at least nest it in the accessibility. But for right now, go into the settings, turn it on, turn it off. It works really, really well across just about any content you can imagine. Uh, it's very well done. Okay, from there, let's move on to account management. Now, functionally, things really haven't changed here. Uh, if I go into my settings and go under accounts and click into the, the accounts I have signed into this Chromebook, nothing's really changed here necessarily as far as from a functional standpoint. You can add a new Google account from here just like you normally would. Uh, but the way it's presented makes a big difference here because used to just stack all three of these right next to each other, really not differentiating one from the other. But now you see, this is my main account. This is what I signed into my Chromebook with first. This is what my apps are tied to, all that kind of stuff. And then I add these other two accounts uh, on a general basis when I log into a Chromebook. And that means this is my primary account. This is what my apps are gonna be tied to. That's what my bookmarks are gonna be tied to, all that kind of stuff. It's just nice to be able to see that. Uh, it's laid out clearly for new users and it's not gonna be as 
confusing as it was prior. The next one we're gonna talk about, uh, you may have noticed already, but right down here, I've got the date in my system tray. And it's a small change, but it's a super useful one. Um, and it's one of those things that we knew was coming. Uh, again, I kind of wished it would show up with 90 and it could eventually with a server side update just show up. But with that flag that we talked about at the beginning, it now you just have your date showing in the tray right here. And again, I'm not saying that this is some massive update. It's just nice to be able to glance down and see the date on your device very quickly, very seamlessly. I like this. I'm hoping it shows up in the stable builds, but until then, flip that flag. You can use this. It causes no issues. And the final feature flag we're going to talk about is the ability to uh, highlight text and create a link directly to that text. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go into an article here on Chrome Unboxed and say I'm wanting to send a link to someone and specifically, uh, you can tell what I've been looking at, uh, you can tell specifically I want to link them to right here. Once you boot up Fallen Order, I don't know why I would want to link somebody to that, but let's just imagine that's the case. And I right click that now, I can actually click copy link to highlight. Once I've copied that, I'm gonna open up a new window here and I'm gonna paste that in. And you'll see that link now takes me right to that piece of text already highlighted for them. So if I'm trying to share a particular thing in an article with someone, instead of saying, hey, go here and then try to get them to that piece of content, I can now highlight it, create the link, send it to somebody. When they click the link, they go there with it highlighted. They know exactly what I was talking about. This is super useful. I will use this constantly, I guarantee it. And again, it's one of those things that, yeah, you can turn the flag on, you can use it, it doesn't cause any issues. I'm really hopeful that this rolls out in Chrome OS very soon because this is a super, super helpful feature. But guys, that's it for our five flags that uh, we, we think that you can start using right now. They're not causing any issue. They actually add a lot to the Chrome OS experience. And again, I can't say this enough. I hope that these all roll out into the stable builds of Chrome OS sooner than later. But since you watch this video and you understand how to turn these flags on, feel free to do so. Use them uh, until they actually show up in the stable builds. But again, that's it for this one, guys. We appreciate you watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure to ring the notification icon that's right next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.